Hello, I'm Carly McAvoy. I'm your instructor this quarter for your Math 97 and Math 99 online class. I'm giving one video talking about the syllabus. Um, I'd like you to read your syllabus. There are a few differences between the two classes, but overall they're very similar. Something that you need to know right away is that you have to be logged on to Math Excel and have started the first homework assignment by Thursday, when I look on Thursday evening, if you haven't logged on and started the first homework assignment, you will be dropped from the class. So it's very important for you to get started. For those of you that are waiting on financial aid and you can't buy an access code for MathXL, there is a link in your syllabi near the end of the syllabus that gives you a chance to link to the free trial, and that will give you a two-week trial. Remember, if you already have a code from a previous class, you can just switch into the new Math Excel class without having to pay for another code. So your code is good usually for at least six months, maybe you might have bought a year-long code. You can continue to use that without having to buy a new code. Okay, so let's take a look at the syllabus. Um, this is really, this video is just to make sure you understand um, how my expectations and how the class is going to go. Um, this for both of the classes the same I have the same office hours I have this email up here at the top that I would really appreciate if you would email me not through canvas but just directly from your personal email or if you want to use the school email log on to um, this school website go into your portal and email me from there but not through canvas it just creates issues um, for both classes the textbook is listed on your syllabus but it's only re uh, recommended. What is required is that you buy an access code to MathXL, www.mathxl.com. After you register at the MathXL site, it will say, do you want to put yourself into a particular class? And you will put the course ID in, which I'll show you how to get to that course ID in a minute. Um, all of the information about the technology requirements you can read about those if you have trouble with the technology the videos or this or the canvas site you can email the help desk or call them that's free at SPSCC um, but most of this I'm going to ask you to read on your own but a few things I want to point out one is that there are videos and for both classes the percentages might be a little different but the videos are required for both classes they um, do make up a part of your grade. Um, in Math 97, it's 7%, so if you didn't watch any videos, you could still get a 93% if you did perfect on everything else. But you do better in the class if you watch the videos. That's not just me saying, oh, I, I know somebody who did better, but I have been teaching this class since uh, 2002, and I know that the people that spend a little time on the videos spend less time overall, and they do better in the class. You should watch the video, take notes on the video, and then try the homework and see if your notes are enough and you know to take better notes if they're not. The homework is 25% of your grade. Quizzes are 20%. Um, homework you can do after the due date, but if you do, you'll lose 2% per day on anything done after the due date. Quizzes, if you do try to do it after the due date, it's going to be locked out. You're going to get a zero. I do not allow anyone to take a quiz after the due date. So if you email me and ask me nicely, I'm going to say no nicely. But I do have an extra credit quiz in both classes. At the end of the quarter, if you take the extra credit quiz, it will make up for one of your missed quizzes during the quarter. The midterm is 24% of your grade. You have to come to campus to take your midterm or go to a testing site near your house. Same thing for the final exam. The final exam, the testing center, excuse me, has sort of limited schedules on those weeks. Look ahead and see if those schedules are going to work for you. If they don't, we can maybe work something else out. But first try to work with that testing center, then find a different testing center. And if you know you're living in Texas right now, you'll find something in Texas for you to take your test. You have to go to some testing center, though. The Register Blast site here in the syllabus takes you to the SPSCC website where you can register for your test. It won't be open until the first couple weeks of class, so don't try it today. But And then the midterm uh, won't open unless you've done at least 75% of the practice midterm because also people that do the practice midterm and the practice final do better on the test. And I do um, give you extra credit for doing that even though I make you do it. And then um, you get to bring one page of handwritten notes. That's both back and front, a calculator, 
a pencil or pen, and something to write on if you'd like to for the test. That's the same for both classes and for both tests. The final exam is cumulative as, as you would expect. You have to cover the whole thing. In order to pass the class with a C, that is the passing grade, then you need to get at least 50% on your final. That's true for both classes. And for both classes, you have to get at least a 60%. No, it's different for the two classes. So for um, Math 97, you need at least 65% on um, the final in order to be considered an A student. Now, 65% is a D, so it's not like a super high bar. But for 99, you have to get at least a 70% on the final. Keep in mind that I add extra credit if you do the practice test. So really, if you get about a 63%, there's extra credit makes up for about 7 8% of the test, actually. So, um, but you need 70% or better in order to get an A in the class. No matter what you've done at home, if you can't get at least 70%, which is a C- minus on the final, then that would drop your grade into the B range. Let's say you had 92% overall, but you had a... 60% on your final, you would get a B plus. So same thing with the B. In order to be in the B range, it's 60%. It is 60% for both classes. For Math 99, it's 70, 60, 50. And for Math 97, it's 65, 60, 50. And then, of course, um, if you get below a C, then you'd have to retake the class if you're taking it as a prerequisite for something. So that's important to know. And then um, the, a lot of this you're going to read. And then I have... Oh, that shouldn't be a big gap on that one, but um, apparently it is. Um, let's see if we can get it back up here. Um, course calendar is going to show you um, everything that's due and when it's due. And of course, your calendars are different for the different classes, but they're similar in that you have one day when homework 1A is due. That's always on Friday here. The homework uh, 1B, 2B, 3B, etc. is due on Tuesdays, and your quizzes are due on Wednesday. Now, you have to check your calendar to see when your midterm is due. I believe the midterm for 97 is February 7th, and for 99 it's February 9th or something like that. But take a look. That's the very last day to take it. In fact, anything you see here, this is the last possible day. But you can always do things early. So if you know that you work on Fridays, then do your homework on Wednesdays or Thursdays. Or if you know that you work on Wednesday, do your quiz early. You can't do your quiz after the due date, so make sure you find a day that you can do it. Any of these things are the last possible day. You can work ahead as fast as you want and finish the class. I had somebody finish the class in four weeks in the fall. So that's totally fine with me. Work ahead and do your, do your thing. Um, notice that you have to do the practice midterm in order for that to, it says extra credit but required because it is, and then you have basically eight different homework assignments, A and B, and then eight quizzes, and then look here at the end is this extra credit quiz, that's if you miss a quiz, that's how you're going to get those points back. For Math 97, there's also a couple of extra credit homework assignments, do, do not have that for 99. And then your practice final and your practice midterm are ways to earn cre extra credit as well. So um, quizzes are taken at home. You can take them twice, but the second time if you try to take it, you've got to get either, sometimes it's a 75% and sometimes it's an 80% depending on the, the class and, the, and this particular quiz in order to open the second quiz. So you take it one time and you don't do well. You can't open it again unless you've gone back to that homework and brought the homework up because there's no point in just retaking a quiz without learning the material that you missed. So I always keep the better of the two so there's no penalty for trying to do that. Remember, you can't take them after the due date no matter what. Um, and then there's uh, information about how your what's in your class. And then at the very last page is this grace period. I don't know why everything is push back, but I'm going to do this um, to get your grace period for, um, here we go, um, for Math Excel. So at the very last page, page six, it will show you follow this link. Now sometimes this link doesn't work well. It's supposed to, of course, control click. Sometimes it takes you to a strange place. If that happens, just copy and paste that into your browser. That always works for me. Once you get follow that link, it'll give you a, a code that you can use to access the Math Excel site, and then it tells you after your Math Excel period expires, 
how to upgrade to your actual Pearson account. So the, um, it's going to be pretty similar for the 99. Um, we'll look at the calendar for 99. I tried to say um, the same thing. 99, I have an additional thing of extra credit. Instead of having the two homework assignments, you can post on a discussion site at the Canvas site. It's not required, but you can do it. What you can post in 99 is a question about something in the video that you just watched. Maybe somebody else posted a question and you post an answer for them. You can post a picture of the notes you took while watching the videos, or you could link to a video that you found more helpful than the one that I posted or something like that. So um, you can post something. You can earn one point per week for a post, no more than one per week, um, no matter how many times you post in a week. And at the end of the quarter, then you could have 10 extra credit points that would then replace a missed quiz or a homework wherever you need it the most. All right. And so um, homework is 25% of your grade, quiz is 28, the midterm and final are both 21. Same thing about sign up for the um, those on there. You have to take them at a proctored site. And the same thing we looked at before, but as I said, it was 70, 60, 50 in order to get those grades in that class. Because um, what we're seeing is that 99 students are not being successful, the ones that move on to Math 141 not just from online classes, but from all the 99 classes, you really need to know at, at least this much of the material. I would say the people that get A's usually do okay in Math 141. People with B's are iffy, and the people with C's usually don't pass Math 141. In fact, half of our 99 students right now are not passing, well, 45% are not passing Math 141. So when you're, if you're going to be taking Math 141, you need to think about, I need to do more than just pass this class. I need to really understand it. So put the extra time in so that you won't fall down the next time over. Um, I don't think there's anything else in there. Posting etiquette, you know, if you're going to post on, on uh, the site, why don't you read through that and make sure you're not being rude to other people or something like that. For everybody, it would be really great if you could put your last name, and your class in the um, subject line of your email so I know who you are and I know what class you're in. For those people that just use initials or it just makes it hard for me, I'm constantly trying to figure out who am I talking to. So it's very helpful, saves me a ton of time if you can just be uh, forthcoming with who you are, what class you're in, and then what you want. So maybe Hartford Math 99 or just Hartford 99 quiz number four, then I know what you're talking about, who you are, what class, and I don't have to go searching through multiple rosters to find you. Um, and just continue replying to our previous email so I can follow that chain easily without having to go look for it. That would be awesome as well. So help me out with that. Um, it just doesn't take you that much time and it saves me a lot of time over the quarter. Testing center is in building 22. You'll need an ID to get in and take your test um, when you go there. And just looking at the, um, looks like I got the calendar on the last page in here. Um, so I have these posts at the Canvas site, posts at the Canvas site. I'm just suggesting once a week, maybe do that if you want that extra credit point. Again, nobody has to post at the Canvas site in a discussion. It's just something you can do, and you might find it useful, and you might develop some relationships with people in the class from that. Same thing for you. You have a homework due on, um, that's not true anymore. You have a homework due on Friday, you have a homework due on Tuesday, and you have a quiz due on Wednesday. Your midterm was actually February 8th, and your final exam was the 22nd. Look on your calendar to see those dates. I do expect that you keep yourself informed of the dates. I put them there, and I also put them on the MathXL website. So let's go take a look at that. Oops. <sighs> Maybe. Um, so this is a take a taking a look at something you might see on a website. Um, I'm not sure I can move my screen capture here. It's not showing all of that. Let's move this and move that down. There we go. So this is Math 94. Let's go to a different um, site, a different class. Um, oh, looks like my time expired. When you're going, the first time you go to the Math Excel site, you'll register, and then after that, you'll just enter your username and password. Um, 
and if you save that on your home computer write it down so when you go to the testing center to test because you'll be using the same site that you won't get there and then forget what you were what your password that happens a lot you wouldn't be surprised and so people get there and then they can't log on and there's all this stress anyway if you've gone if you've been on the math excel be site before then um, and you have a code that's current all you have to do is click on your name and you'll see enroll in a course and if you click on that button it'll give you a chance to put a new course ID in and the new course ID is what you need to get into the new class if you've never been there before then you'll register and they'll say do you have a course ID and you'll enter the course ID at that point I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this site because I kind of talked about it in my other little video but um, I just want you to remember that the homework and tests all have due dates when you're in this format you click on all assignments you'll see all the homework and all the videos that are in there I have videos listed with the time next to them so you get an idea of how much time it's going to take you to watch that video that's about the same as a regular class some of these are a little longer than a regular class but that's because they, they probably are one of my classes where I like droned on forever and you can fast forward through some of that and then um, the homework um, has a little flag over here meaning that you aren't going to be able to open it until you watch the video that's me trying to force you to have good habits if you just open the video and close it I will see that you didn't spend any time on it and I will dock you for points because that is something that is important to me that you watch the videos I know if you turn it on and walk away I won't know but if you turn it on for one second and turn it off I will know because I'll see the time on there and um, I will take away your points on that and then remember that's up to 7% of your grade. Alright, you will go through and find out um, things that you need to find out about the site. I don't need to show you everything, but um, if I click on this video and open it, that is considered now that I've watched the video. But later on I could go back and check and see that I didn't actually watch it. I'm just doing that so I can open a homework assignment just to show you a little bit about what you're going to see on your homework assignment. Um, when you get in there you can click on any question let's say I click on number 14 and then um, I can answer the question or if I don't know how to answer the question over here on the right hand side you see where there's question help I can click on that I can view an example similar to my question I could go to the textbook and watch the textbook ex read the textbook explanation I could send my instructor an email and say I'm having trouble with this how do I do it I'm of course going to say did you watch the video so make sure you do that first you can also print off your homework and have it to work on as a hard copy if you click on help me solve it it's going to count it wrong and give you a new problem so just remember that remember that on all these problems you get three chances so if I check the answer and it's wrong and then I try something else and check the answer and it's wrong and then I try it the third time um, then it's going to say final check and now if I get it wrong it's going to give me a X so it's not going to be right but before I move on I could say well I'd like to try a similar question because I think I could get it and so if you're willing to do that you can get a hundred percent on all your homework if you're willing to try a new one six times eight is forty eight fifty three minus forty eight is five nine minus five looks like four to me let's see right now I got this right now if I go to the next question it's going to change my red X to a green check mark and I've got that correct question right so you have all kinds of help buttons in here and when you're finished you click on save it saves your homework anything you've done is saved now because I got that question right that's saved I don't have to do that later if I click on results that's where I can see my grade I do not put your grade in canvas your score and your grade is right here you can always look to see my grade is pretty low right now because I opened that homework but didn't do much of it. When I finish that, my grade, of course, would go up. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you. You're going to discover more on your own, and when you have questions, you're going to email me at cmacaboy at spscc.edu. Let's have a great order.